Really? Come on. October is rapidly approaching, and I did indeed account, uh, encounter a problem with my central air upstairs. So I woke up this morning, uh, regular time. The whiff was already up. She had gone downstairs. So I get up, I get out of bed, and you know how you're like nice and warm under the covers and that. So I just get up and I go and I go downstairs. And I go to the computer and start catching up on my stuff. And a few minutes later, the whiff comes to me and says, The AC upstairs isn't working. I said, what? I didn't notice anything. She said, yeah, I just looked at the thermostat, and it's blank. Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess I'll have to take a look at it. That's not good. So I came upstairs, and I took a look, and indeed, the display was blank. I said, okay, here we go with October again. So it probably is just the batteries in it. So there were other batteries in here, and I took them out, and I said, you know what, I'm not even going to bother metering them to run all the way down to the basement, get the meter. I have new batteries up here, and they're brand new in the package. I expect they should work, so let me go ahead and just pop them in. So it's early in the morning, and you're still seeing bleary-eyed, and you know how it goes. But anyway, I put the batteries in, and I definitely put them in with the right polarity, because I saw how the old ones went. And you can see the wires are connected to the terminals in the battery compartment there. So everything's good. I put the new batteries in. Nothing. Totally dead. Completely and totally dead. I said, oh, crap. That's not good. Okay, well, here we go with October. Let me go ahead and get the meter and see what's going on. So I went all the way downstairs, I got the meter, I came all the way back upstairs, and the first thing I did is I tested the batteries that I took out of here, and one of them indeed was dead. The other one seemed to have 1.5 volts, nothing I haven't seen before, you just replace the both. No big deal, they're cheap, they're double A's, so I replaced them. So I so said, maybe these are no good out of the package, has happened before, not unheard of. Pull these out, test them, 1.67 volts on each cell. They're good. So now I look very closely at the contacts. There's absolutely no corrosion, no leakage from batteries, nothing. I said, well, this isn't good. All right, display is still dead. I don't know why. I don't know why this isn't working. And I moved... This control, which is fan or auto, to fan, and if you listen, maybe you can hear the blower fan came on. So I said, well, that switch is working at least. But while I was downstairs, I had checked all the breakers just in case, and they were perfectly fine. So I said, oh, geez, this isn't good. I need this to still work. I mean, we can get by. It's not too bad because it is getting cooler now, being the, what is today, the 18th, I think, of uh, September. So I said, yeah, no problem. Whatever. Uh, we can deal with it if we have to. It's probably just a bad thermostat. And I actually, when I grabbed the meter, I came up with my set of alligator clip wires. And without getting into the semantics of which wire gets shorted where in that, if I short the wires together, that should one wire shorted should engage the fan, and the other wire shorted should engage the compressor. So I was all ready to go ahead and do that. Actually, I was going to meter it first just to see, but instead I said, ah, I don't know, let's just see. So I started mushing the buttons here and mushing on the circuit board and the display blipped for a second. I said, oh, wow, maybe it's going to come back to life. So I went again and I sort of mushed the buttons. Every indicator in the LCD here came on as like a screen test. And it stayed that way for like five full seconds. And I'm like, oh, man, this thing, something fried. 
not cool. And the AC actually just kicked on. So I'm like, ah, oh, not cool. You know, I'd really hate to have to replace the thermostat. That would suck. But if I have to, I have to. So anyways, after those five seconds, it came up. And it displayed the temperature, which was 74 degrees in here. So I put the switch back to cool. I had moved it from off of there. I put the switch back to cool. And it came up that it wanted to cool down to 85 degrees and the room temperature was 74 so that ain't gonna work <laughs> but one other interesting thing is the clock wasn't set so I said let me see if I could set the clock so I went and I set the clock and basically you hit the time button and then you run it up and down with the red and blue buttons here you know you do the hours then the minutes then the day and then if you hit time again, it just keeps cycling through them. You have to hit run, and I knew that. I hit run, automatically it jumped down to 70, and it came on, and everything has been working since. Why does it say 71? Well, because of all the fucking hot air I've been expelling here, telling you about this, that's why. Because <laughs> obviously it was 70 the whole other time here. But, you know, once I'm done with the video and I walk away, it will uh, get back down to 70, and as soon as it satisfies the hysteresis of the thermostat, the AC will turn back off. So, once again, I went into this problem with a level head. I tried the simple, easiest solutions first, and I made it work. And it's been working fine. I'll keep an eye on it. If it gets warm up here, then I'll know. And that's really it. But just now... Worked great the whole summer, but just now that it's getting cooler out, it has a problem. So there we are for another early October. I have a feeling this one's going to be a doozy. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, still napping. In the blanket with the AC on. Ridiculous.